What's going on YouTube, Chamber Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review and in today's video I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 86 Leader Class Grimlock. Now taking a look at the packaging, it is just the standard Studio Series packaging, um, but it is a little bit different with the 86 toy line and whatnot, but you got a picture of Grimlock there in his T-Rex mode, there on the front, 86, Grimlock and Autobot Wheelie, Transformers movie here on the side here, we got a picture of Grimlock, you got Studio Series 86, you can see that he's the sixth figure in the wave, leader class, come around to the top here, Transformers, 86 here on the side, Wheelie, Grimlock, and then you got all your read-ups, you know, big screen, big screen inspired blah 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 um mockery of justice and then you got a picture of his t-rex mode his robot mode that he converts in 24 steps and then you can read his little read up there but that is pretty much it for the packaging and then just taking all this out to take a look at his backdrop oh we can see here that it is the uh, quintesson uh sharktacon pit from the movie so that is a very nice backdrop where we see Grimlock show up to fight the Sharktacons. Very nice. Now this is Wheelie. Wheelie says hi. This is Wheelie when Astro Train comes by. Yeah, so I guess we gotta talk about this little rhyming turd that they decided to throw in with Grimlock. This is Wheelie. Um, he's probably one of the most hated Transformers characters of all times, if not the most hated Transformer character of all times. He speaks and rhymes all the time, but that rhymed, and I didn't even mean it to. Oh. Uh, figure's been painted pretty nicely, you know, just pretty much is what you see here. Uh, face has actually been painted really nicely. Uh, some nice blue eyes, a silver face and whatnot, and then the gray and the orange actually been painted really nice. He does have a little slingshot you can take in and out of his hand, which makes no sense, because the only purpose is for you to take the figure and display it with Grimlock like this. Now his articulation is lacking because that's all he does. You got a ball joint in the arm, no elbow joints in anything. You got a cutout here at the arm so he can do the slingshot pulling pose and then you know you get motion there. Head's on a ball joint so you get full 360 movement in that. Waist is actually on a ball joint so you get a little bit of ab crunch with that and then obviously a full 360. Legs are on ball joints but that is literally it. He just sits there. Perfect. In terms of actual accessories, Grimlock does come with his blaster, which has been just casted in a black plastic, has some nice molded details on it, but there you have that. And you can store the blaster on Grimlock within T-Rex mode. You will see that there are two peg holes right here and here, and two pegs here and here, and these will just have in to place here. You gotta line that up just right and it will stay secure within T-Rex mode, like so. So there's storage for the blaster, and then he does come with his instruction manual, which, standard Studio Series instructions, and then he does come with warning paper, because why not? Anyway, moving along. Moving right along, here we have Grimlock. This figure's fantastic. That's how I'm gonna start this review off. This is a fantastic figure. This is by far one of the best figures of 2020 slash 2021. Hands down, one of the best. T-Rex mode here looks just like Grimlock. It is Grimlock through and through. We got all these nice mechanical details, the red paint, the gold paint here. Yeah, the screw holes are a bit ugly there on the side. Not a whole lot you can do about it. And just overall, look at all the detail on this. You got the nice detail there on the legs. Nice Autobot badge standing there loud and proud. Just overall, really nice looking figure. Very, very nice. And he is big. He is big like the old leader class figures. Now, he's not as big as the old leader class figures, but he's definitely big, and I'll get into that here in a little bit. But the head sculpt has been done really nicely, except for one thing. What on earth? Why is he missing his front teeth? What? I, I don't understand. But, I mean, aside from that, the head sculpt looks just like G1 Grimlock. You got the nice blue eyes and everything. Overall, it just looks really nice. You got the gold there for the feet and the toes. And then you got his little dino arms. Just overall, a really nice looking T-Rex mode. Now, to say that Grimlock's T-Rex mode is really awesome, 
That is no lie, but he definitely does have his issues. I'll go over that here in a second, but first I'm going to cover the articulation, starting here at the head. The head is very poseable, but it does have its it does have a problem and that is this joint here when you go to move the head it is on a it does click into place for each mode so sometimes you go to move the head and the whole neck assembly comes up but you do have up and down movement there at the head side to side opening and closing of the jaw and you can see there is a peg in there for blast effect so if you want a breathing fire you can most certainly do that on um, arms are on ball joints so that allows you some good movement there you do have a elbow bend as well now the legs are quite articulated as well you got a full 360 degree ratcheted rotation there at the hip outward movement thigh swivel that goes 360 degrees and a good amount of knee bend which is awesome to see now another issue i have while in t-rex mode are his gold toes they are articulated so you can get some movement out of them but the problem lies with this back one these back heels if you look over at this one you can see it's not really doing its job so like let's say i want to have them in more of a natural sort of stance like this of course whenever i say this he doesn't want to do it but i've had him topple over like so is that maybe just a me problem because you know why not i haven't heard this complaint before so it's probably just my copy but um the tail doesn't have any articulation it's just one solid piece but I mean, look at all that molded in detail and whatnot in this figure. I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic. All the mechanical detail on the legs just looks fantastic when in T-Rex mode. Again, he has his issues, but he definitely does look fantastic. One great thing about this figure is that they're finally bringing back up the scale of the leader class figures. So for size comparisons, let's bring in Studio Series Deluxe Class Jazz from the 86 lineup. So we can see how these two scale. So we can see how these two scale side by side. Here is the Power of the Primes Voyager class Grimlock. We can see there is no competition here in between the two different T-Rex modes. Although one thing I will say that the Power of the Primes version did is that they actually gave him a full set of teeth. So, you know, that's nice. And then for a leader class size comparison, here is Earthrise slash Siege Astro Train. Before now, this was our leader class standard. He's barely the same height as Grimlock standing up. And a problem with that is that leader class figures until now were voyager class figures packaged with a ton of accessories so definitely is awesome to see them bumping up the scale of leader class figures once again because it feels like you're getting your bang for your buck and especially with this figure i can say you 100 percent are now as i mentioned earlier wheelie does um interact with grimlock and there is a way you can actually get him riding him there are two uh, uh, there is a peg hole here and a peg here, and you kind of just kind of have to get them straddling Grimlock, um, kind of like a cowboy. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to do it. And then Wheelie just sits up there and shoots slingshot rocks, energon cube things at people, because why not? Hey, it's, it's an option, so there you have that. Now, going over the transformation of Grimlock, it's fun, simplistic, and refreshing. That's all I gotta say. So to start off with, we're going to start here at the head, take the head, push it up until it clicks, and then take the head assembly, pull it back some, take the front chest assembly here, we're gonna untab it, and then move it up and out of the way, and then I like to, this is just a personal preference, but I like to tuck the T-Rex arms behind the back panels here. That's just a personal preference. You can do whatever you want with them. Take the robot mode head, fold it up, take the chest assembly here, untab it, pull it up, and it will tab in just like so. Take the robot mode fists and just push them out like so. Take the arms, just straighten them out. 
Now we're gonna move the arms out of the way so we can work on the legs. Now for the legs, what we're gonna to wanna to do is untab them and then take this assembly here, open it up and rotate the tip of the tail in. And then what you're supposed to be able to do is push the leg into place and it's supposed to slide on this channel back and forth but personally i like to just push it in manually take the leg close it up and then fold out the heel and there we have a leg for grimlock in robot mode and then we're going to do that on both sides and then just take this section here push it into place like so take the tail fold it up tab it into place put that down then we take the dino head tab it in onto his back there's a tab hole and a peg here tab that into place straighten them out getting them get them all organized and here we have studio series 86 leader class grimlock in his fantastic looking robot mode this robot mode is perfect this looks exactly like grimlock should the proportions are awesome the articulation is amazing the paint applications spot on taking a look at the figure just holy cow this is fantastic i mean the red the blues the greens down here on the shins you got all the nice mechanical details you got some details there on his thighs as well some details there on his waist you got his hands which have been molded and sculpted very nicely nice detail there on the arms that carries over you've even got detail on the inside of his arms as well and then the arms again this is carryover from t-rex mode but it's just been sculpted so nicely and then on the joints there there's actually sculpted in detail as well this is a fantastic figure and the chest yes this is extremely dark and that's kind of something i've heard some people complain about i'm fine with it um it's not as dark as it's turning out on camera um but you can see there's a nice red autobot uh insignia there in the sim uh in the center of it just really really nice that nice gold paint as well and then that head sculpt it's perfect it is just grimlock through and through the blue visor and it's the paint on the visor is amazing like it's got this sparkly sheen to it and it's awesome looking this figure has no kibble to speak of because all this is part of grimlock's design and character we can see the wings here nothing going on with the legs it all tucks away all the excess t-rex components tuck away just perfect it's it's re it really is a simple but effective transformation to robot mode and the robot mode that we end up with is just amazing now when it comes to articulation grimlock definitely does not fall short on posability starting here at the head head is on a ball joint so it allows him to look down and up he can spin full 360 degrees arms got outward movement the arms have the same articulation that the t-rex mode does so you got the outward movement you've got a ratcheted full 360 you do have to watch out for the wings uh, but they do have plenty of posability uh, to make sure you have clearance and i'll get into that here in a second arms you have a bicep swivel over 90 degree elbow bend and the cool thing about this is that it's a separate joint from the knee joint in t-rex mode so when you lock the arm into place for the transformation there is a separate joint that allows for that ratchet and knee bend in t-rex mode which is crazy cool engineering i really do like that wrists have a wrist swivel full 360 and then these pieces here for the toes are still articulated waist has a full 360 degree rotation camera's out of focus my bad legs can kick forward and can kick backwards you got outward movement thigh swivel knee bend 90 degrees and then you got the ankle tilt which is a full 90. now that is quite a bit of posability coming around here to the back the wings are on a hinge that allows for all this crazy range of movement so when it comes to articulation grimlock is very poseable now if you really really want to ruin the aesthetic of grimlock being a mighty warrior you can take 
little wheelie here and there is a peg right here and a peg hole on his shoulder and you can just have wheelie sit right on down and have him riding grimlock like a little pet bird so there you have that it's an option all right goodbye wheelie now there is weapon storage for his blaster in robot mode as well if you come around here to the back the groove here on the back will tab in to the t-rex arm so you can have his gun hanging off of his back if you really want to do that but it is better used with grimlock in robot mode to pull off some really just awesome poses because this figure is just really well articulated that topped off with the fact that he's got these massive stompers for stability really just allows you to get him into some awesome looking poses such as this one now as i've mentioned throughout this review this is a big figure he feels like a proper leader class figure here is the studio series 86 deluxe class jazz for comparison we can see grimlock dwarfs this dude so there's your size comparison there Let's bring in the Power of the Primes of Voyager class, Grimlock. And fun fact, this is actually the very last figure I ever purchased from Toys R Us before it closed down here in the US. So there you have that size comparison. Now let's bring in the old leader class standard. This is leader class Astro Train. Do I even need to explain what's wrong with this picture? This is a Voyager class figure with a box full of accessories priced at $50. Now, to show you how big Grimlock is compared to the old standard of leader class figures, let's bring in the Power of the Primes leader class Grimlock, or Grimlock, yeah, Optimus Prime. And you can see he's not that much shorter than him. I mean, Optimus is only but so much taller. So it's great to see that they're making big leader class figures once again. And truth be told, this is how leader class figures should be sized. So overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions about the Transformers Studio Series 86 leader class Grimlock? Pick him up. Solid recommend. This is a fantastic figure and in my opinion is better than the masterpiece version of Grimlock. This is an awesome figure. It really is. My only big complaint is that they didn't give him a sword instead they gave us wheelie it would have been so much better had they given us his blaster and his sword instead of giving us wheelie and his blaster they could have done a lot more with this character had they made him his own transformable figure i really do believe that and they could have made it a legends class figure he could have had the same little pegging points that allow you to put him on grimlock and do whatever but they gave us this non-posable little figure. And I mean, he's okay, but I'm definitely not posing him with Grimlock because this figure looks awesome on his own without that little guy slowing him down. But guys, that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed this review. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of Studio Series Grimlock down in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champer Productions, signing off.